to my channel welcome back to my channel Mafia Rose we're going to cook or bake a Japanese floppy cream cheese cake so first thing to do is we need to have a double boiler and we will put the cream cheesecake one bar of cream cheesecake I know <laughs> mali ako guys I mean one bar of cream cheese which is also equivalent to one cup and then we will also put unsalted butter you um, at least uh, mga not one fourth cup at least three tablespoon of butter and then this one is quick melt cheese or you can also put cheddar or parmesan or mozzarella any kind of cheese that you want pero dahil um, ang meron lang ako ay quick melt cheese so that's what I'm going to put uh, into the double boiler and make sure to mash them or and um just continue mashing no para hanggang sa it will soften at low temperature if you're using induction stove low heat and low fire for gas stove just be patient guys in baking because the process is quite um, tiring or tiresome so until the ingredients are softened do not uh, stop mixing it so that's it I think it is already soft or let's say the ingredients are at already at room temperature and now I am adding whipped cream or whipping cream that is one half cup of whipping cream you can also use all-purpose cream if you want if you can have a whipping cream or um, you can also use heavy cream so the cheesecake that you're going to make is creamy and cheesy and now let's separate the egg yolk and the egg white because we were going to do something with the egg white later and for the meantime let's put the egg yolk one at a time to our softened cream cheese butter and the whipped cream mixture uh, we're going to put uh, four eggs you can use small to medium lar uh, no medium to large eggs yeah well edit edit it on no voice over guys so bear with me so I don't also have an uh, egg separator so we're doing it manually okay need to mix the egg until you cannot see any yellow color yeah, and then as I have said earlier it should be one at a time because that's what the professional bakers do or the tip that they are saying that they are sharing rather let's just continue until we're done with our four eggs separating the egg white from the egg yolk you can use brown egg or um, cage free egg for a healthier version I am using cage free egg because this is for our consumption naman if you are going to make it as your if you're going to make this as a business then you should um, use commercialized ingredients meaning the cheaper ones but if you that would depend to your market so I'm doing the keto version yeah, so and now we are on our fourth egg yolk 
we're almost done mixing our eggs to our softened cream cheese, butter, and whipped cream and cheese. Kasi yung butter, everything should be at room temperature if you are doing this kind of cake. It's not four. I think it's five eggs. <laughs> Nawala ako sa bilang ko ng itlog. My goodness. Hayan. And now we're almost done. And after mixing, we're just going to set aside this mixture. So, in scrape ko yung iba sa ating spatula para walang sayang, walang papon. You just need to have a strong torso to do this. And patience, patience, patience. Oh, there are six eggs! Oh, diba? Nakalimutan ko na sa tagal na ng video na ito. Hindi ko pa na-edit kasi agad. So, it's, it's a, this is the only time that I am able to edit this. So, bear with me, guys. There's no take to take two <laughs> Nako, pang ilan na bang itlog ito? Bahala na kayo magbilang, guys. Nakaloka, meron pa ulit pa lang isa. And I think it's six eggs. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Hayan, I uh, promise last na 'yan. Last na yung itlog na 'yan. I think there are six eggs. Okay, yan. Halo pa more. Ah, ito na. Totoo na to. So, after, afterwards, we're going to beat our egg white. So, ito naman, guys. You need the help na ng hand mixer or electric mixer. But if not, you can also do it manually. Pero baka abutin kayo ng mga 2 years bago yung maggawa nga. Um, what you call this? Frosting. Ano bang tawag dito? Oh my gosh. Basta yan, gagawa tayo na parang merengue. 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 So, gradually add white sugar or powdered sugar. I'm using erythritol powdered sugar para mas soft yung texture niya. You can also use white sugar if you if you have, ano, prefer it. Yung granules at uh, but here I I use ano powdered sugar, a refutable powdered sugar para mas soft ang ating frosting. Ayan, T test, t-test natin that it's already successful uh, pagka hindi na siya nalalaglag sa bowl, kung saan nyo man siya binit, then that's it. Because we're going to fold it to our cream cheese mixture. Ayan, that is the secret kaya nagiging floppy yung cake. This is a flourless cake, so we're doing this parang yung mga nabibili sa store, Japanese floppy cheesecake. So, ito po yun, guys. But, because I don't like to go to the mall or order it online, I prefer doing it at home. And I am sure pa sa ingredients na ginamit. And here, now we are folding it to not over mix it, guys, para hindi magsag ang ating cake pag ating nuluto. Or hindi siya ma-over mix, ma-over beat, something like that. Uh, well, we are also adding it one at a time or gradually, para yung egg kanina. And the rest of the ingredients, yeah, para mas ma- 
halo natin siyang mabuti at mas ma incorporate siya sa ating ingredients yung balance ba yung pagkakahalo ganon ayan nagbibisaya man yung tono ko magbisaya mag ilokano ba ang aking tono guys ayan just do it until you have folded everything into the mix into the mixture Naririnig pa yung ano sound effect ng aking messenger ano ba yan? O sige, walang edit-edit ito guys ng voiceover <laughs> and since tinamad na rin ako mag-type, mag-voiceover na lang tayo and yeah, malapit na tayo tapos this is very easy pero medyo um, time consuming siya ng very very light yeah, because yun pala, habang ginagawa nyo ang pagpo-fold, you should preheat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Aha. And we're going to bake it for 60 minutes or an hour at 150 degrees Celsius. Ayan. Parang ang sarap-sarap kainin ng ano. Egg white. Kalimutan ko yung other term. Please comment down below, guys. Kung anong other term nung ginawa kong frosting. Frosting ba? Basta yun. <laughs> okay. Patience is virtue. Halo lang ng halo. And stay put lang kayo dyan sa pag-watch. <laughs> very, very uh, delicious, guys. Pag naluto na to. And hindi kayo magigilty that you are putting a lot of sweetness into your body or a lot of sugar because we use healthy um, sweetness. Ah, hindi. Healthy sweetener, hindi healthy sweetness. <laughs> okay. Alam ko ba yung mga pinagsasabi ko? Wala po tayong script eh. So, this is impromptu. Ayan, almost full na ang aking bowl. I think I need to buy bigger bowl. And now, we're going to put it into our molding pan. Uh, hindi ko alam ang size nito. Basta regular siya. You can use this in baking your loaf bread, your banana cake, whatsoever. We need to put some butter para hindi po magdikit-dikit ba ang ating cake kapag tatanggalin na natin siya sa pan. Or you can also use um, baking sheet, the parchment paper, Okay, ayan. Ito, ilagay na natin. Ay, natapon. Sayang naman. Ang mehel, mehel pa naman. Ang cream cheese. Tapos, nat may natapon. Okay, so, pupunain lang natin siya, guys. So, sa actually, this is two cups. No? Two cups of cream cheese. Kaya, we were able to make two pan. Yeah, kasi yung former video ko or or yung 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 very very first video, yung very first video was I only was only able to make. This is my second um try or second na uh, pagbibake ng floppy Japanese cake. The first one I only was able to bake one pan kasi one cup lang yon. But if you are going to use two cups of cream cheese or two bars, yan makagawa kayo ng dalawa. And hayan floppy na siya guys, 'di ba? Ang saya-saya. Nag-experiment din ako yung isa, meron siyang um, uh, water bath, yung mas inner, and the other one wala siyang water bath, ganyan lang siya. But I think mas maganda kung may water bath siya kasi after you bake it, hindi siya basta-basta magsasag or magde-deflate. Mo observe nyo, uh Kaya, nag-deflate. Medyo nag-deflate na itong wat na walang water bath. But the other one without the water bath, hindi po siya masyadong nag-deflate. And hindi rin naman siya masyadong nag -rise. But it's okay. Hayan. So, luto na guys. After 25 years, naluto din siya. Hayan na. Ready. I was sorry guys. I was not able to film yung pagkahati niya. So, that's all. Hope you enjoyed watching my video. Adios!
Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.